My name is Staff Sergeant Matthew Horn. I'm from Shaw Air Force Base, M-A-T-T-H-E-W-H-O-R-N. I'm a crew chief on F-16s, Block 50s. Um, basically, we just launch them out, recover them, fix them when they're broke, anything, change tires, uh, pretty much it, fuel them. Well, basically, before the pilot gets here, we're going to have EMT, uh, the probes, everything, and safety hazards, so we got to put covers on all the probes when it's just sitting. But before the pilot gets here, we'll go through, take off all the covers, pull, pull the pins, pull his seat pins so he can egress if necessary if something happens to the jet. Uh, we get our comm cord hooked up and wait on the pilot to show up. And then we walk around with the pilot, noting any discrepancies on the jet, and get him in the seat, launch him out. We go, we'll go through our checks. We'll check uh, belt P's, fluid levels, make sure tires are good, pull more pins, and then get him out of here. Pull chops and ready to roll. It takes about. 20 minutes, probably. We weren't out here to launch the jets. The pilots would be out of luck because, well, first of all, once they get in the cockpit, how are they going to get the ladder down? But we've got to we've got to make sure the aircraft, while the aircraft's on the ground, it is it's our aircraft. We we tell pilots if everything on the out the exterior of the aircraft is good, if the engine's good. Uh, and when it's ready to go, basically, we have to check his flight controls, make sure they're all working, check his brakes. Uh, we're supporting the pilots in their air-to-air -air competitions. They have an air-to-ground competition coming up. Uh, we had some crew chiefs were down with at the alert competition down at EOR yesterday. And ba basically, we're just in a supporting role. But without without us the competition wouldn't be able to happen. I talk to the Jordanians pretty much every day. I would go down, they always offer us tea or coffee, and we'd sit around and talk. We have a lot of cross talk about maintenance problems. They bring up a lot of maintenance problems they have because their jets are a little bit older. And so they bring up maintenance problems, they ask us how we would fix it. Sometimes they used to tell us problems that they've had in their jets and how they fixed it, which we haven't seen on these jets yet, but if it comes up, we'll be able to use that solution on our jets to fix it. So it's actually a pretty helpful conversation. Number one priority, priority is safety. Uh, just making sure that everything on the jet on the ground the same it's going to be in the air so if something's broken on the ground then that's not going to be good for the pilot when he's flying so we've just got to make sure that all of his belt p's which indi indicates something that could could be wrong with the jet uh, a fluid issue like there's a clogged line or something you got to make sure that it'll work for the pilot up in the air Got to keep the pilot safe. We're, uh, we're pretty busy. We keep we keep it uh, we keep it down. We're working about 10 hours a day, making sure that make sure the jets are good, reconfiguring the jets as needed.